John Alexander, thank you, John. Uh, thank you, Vic, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming here tonight. Uh, I've represented the seat of uh, Bennelong uh, since August 2010. Uh, I had been in business for some 30 years prior to then, firstly in establishing Tennis World at Ride and doing kids' camps during the summer, and then in investing some $28 million into the Ride Aquatic Centre of the Next Generation Club, which brought the Olympic Games uh, to uh, Ride in the form of water polo. Um, from the time I was pre-selected, um, I door-knocked. I door-knocked 10,000 homes between uh, February and August of 2010 with the sole intent of listening to really understand what the problems were that were challenging the people of Benelong. Then, as now, it's very, very similar, a great fear of overdevelopment and what flows from overdevelopment, which is congestion. At the time, uh, I was aware through some research that some 85% of our congestion is imported and 80% of that comes from the northwest. So therefore, it was imperative to get the North West Rail Link underway and completed. I lobbied uh, Barry O'Farrell and this became an important issue and was committed to. That opens in three weeks time. It wouldn't be any good if you didn't have the interchange at Macquarie Park, which the federal government has committed $80 million to building. And that building uh, commence, uh, that will commence next year. So it's an interchange to go from train so good getting the train there if you can't get onto a bus, into a car, walk or ride a bike from that point. So the interchange is a vital part of that infrastructure. I've chaired four important committees, parliamentary committees, that look to establish the facts and then make recommendations. First was in home ownership, then it was capturing value and delivering infrastructure, building up and moving out, which is a very important inquiry, that established the real facts of the over-congestion, the imbalance of settlement that has seen areas like Benelong, Sydney, and Melbourne become overdeveloped, overpriced, out, outrunning its infrastructure. So the need to retrofit infrastructure, to plan around that infrastructure, but more importantly, to strategically decentralise, to take the pressure off our major cities. Housing pressure, congestion pressure, overdevelopment pressure, so we can actually have a plan of settlement to develop our country. All of these issues came from intimately understanding what the problems were here in Benelong. I've been very proud of my government's record in the six years in government. We have increased spending every year, each year, for those six years in health and education. We have amongst the highest bulk billing records what? One minute. in Australia at 89%. But I'd like to finish up just by comparing and contrasting our leaders. When Bill Shorten challenged Scott about the Cancer Care Initiative, Scott said, I will have a really good look at it. I will study it, I'll investigate it, I'll evaluate it, and then we will make a responsible decision. That's what you do when you're in government. You make responsible decisions. I know that we have worked very hard on this home ownership initiative that Scott announced yesterday. I know that because I chaired the home ownership inquiry and I worked on that with him. His first rule and, our ed and what we learned from the inquiry was don't do anything to destabilise this market, keep it stable. Labor's policy of getting rid of negative gearing is reckless. But when we announced our policy of home ownership to help first home buyers into the market, Time. Bill was able to say, yeah, we'll do that too. How much consideration, another reckless act, no real responsibility, is that the man you really want as Prime Minister for this country?